We're gonna talk factory audio integration coming up next. What's up everyone, I'm Ken from Kicker, and we're gonna to talk today about some of the Kicker factory integration pieces that we have to offer. We're gonna start all the way over here on my left, your right, and that's gonna be with the Kissel, the K-I-S-L. Now there's no magic going on here, it's just simple speaker wire input to an RCA adapter. So if you wanna run high level into your amplifier or speaker level inputs to that amplifier, which we do recommend with a Kicker amplifier, the Kissel, the K-I-S-L, is gonna be the one to use. But if you want to run to a low level signal, an RCA level signal, you're going to need a line output converter. And Kicker offers two of them. We have the Kisslock 1 and the Kisslock 2. Now the only difference here is the Kisslock 2 is going to give you a 12 volt remote turn on output with no 12 volt input of any kind required. So all you do is simply hook up your speaker wire in and you're going to get a 12 volt remote turn on output using the DC offset off that factory or aftermarket radio. So it's a very, very cool piece, one of my favorites. But if you're dealing with a problematic factory system, maybe one that has a wild factory EQ curve or factory time correction, all pass filters, anything crazy like that, you're going to want to step up to a fancier line output converter and that's going to be the key LOC. Now the key LOC is able to correct for all of that stuff. It's gonna flatten that factory EQ curve out, remove factory time correction, those all pass filters. Even things that you didn't know were there, it's able to correct for you. It gives you a strong baseline that you can then run to whatever aftermarket audio gear you want. So maybe an aftermarket amplifier, aftermarket DSP, whatever it is. It gets you back to a starting point and then you can add in your own factory time correction, your own EQ curve. So a very, very cool piece. Now additionally, the key lock has a 60 ohm dummy load built into it. What the heck is a dummy load and why would I want it? There are certain factory audio systems that are looking for a very specific resistance on their speaker outputs. So if you're installing say a four channel amplifier and you clip those factory speaker leads, the audio system can no longer see that factory speaker and it freaks out. It thinks that maybe the speaker's blown or there's a speaker wire that's shorted. It mutes the output. So that dummy load tricks that factory smart system into seeing the load that it needs so it will continue to output audio for your purposes. So the 60 ohm load is built into the key lock. It's also built into the kiss lock one and two. That 60 ohm value will work for about 80 to 85% of those smart systems that we see on the road today. For the remaining percentage, we have this product over here and that's the kiss load two channel and four channel version. Now this is not a line output converter. This does not convert from a speaker level input to an RCA. It's just simple speaker wire in, speaker level out. However, it is very high power. So the two channel version of the KISS load is a 25 ohm load that will work for all those problematic systems. The two channel one is able to handle 40 volts or 400 watts of input per channel. So if you want to put the KISS load on the output of a high powered factory amplifier, no problem, it's meant for that. The four channel version is able to handle 20 volts or 100 watts per channel. Again, if you want to put that on the output of a factory amplifier, not a problem, it's meant for that. All of our integration pieces are available on kicker.com, so you can check that out for details. Or if you have any other questions about any Kicker product, you can give our tech support a call. And that's all I got for you, so thanks for joining us.